Hello guys, today we will learn how to implement upload multiple files with the dropzone.js which we can drag and drop files and upload to the server with the Laravel application. Here I have created a new project which no implement anything. So now the first we're going to create a new controller file and we're gonna name it dropzone controller with this command. And then we're going to implement two methods. So now we can use the control and click here to navigate it to the file. Or you can go manually with this directory controller. Now we are going to create a method to render HTML page for form upload. So I just return to the view index file and we will create later on. And then we create a new method to upload a image file to the server. You can name the method whatever you want. And here we're going to uh, get the file from the attribute file in the HTML page that you're gonna see later on. And then we going to give the name by the time upload but we will concave with the random number because we will uh, upload multiple files at a time to prevent the same file name and then for the last is the extension of the file and this we just completes to give the new name for the file and now we will call a method to upload file. And that is located in the public path. And the parameter is image, which is a new folder that we're going to create. And then we pass the image name to the second parameter. Last, we're gonna return as a JSON format with the message, the file name. Now we will add a URL to the route list so that we can access the method controller to the upload file. As we have the created two methods in the controller's file, so we have to create the two route links as well. Then we copy that and paste here for the action upload file, which is we call the method store. And here I name as the dropzone.store or you can name whatever. Now we need import using which located in controller because we use this class name here, we have to import it. So let's copy that namespace and then we're going to paste here, which is the class name is dropzone controller. Okay, so now we're gonna create a new black file which we're gonna display the form. But I'm going to rename this default file to index file or you want to create a new one is okay. At this file, I will remove everything and start from scratch. Okay, this is the empty template HTML file and this form we need the CDN file dropzone.js which is the library that we're going to add with this HTML template. So let's go to the browser and we're gonna search for the CDN I'm gonna choose these two of this and this one is the original documentation so I'm going to find the CDN here we can copy this or you can check this website for all of the CDN are provided in here mostly I'm using the CDN from here so now let's do this copy with this version and then paste it in head element now I'm not going to design a cute layout but just for tutorial. So here I'm going to put header text for a drop zone JS with my website. And then we insert the form upload 
the action is gonna be the name that we just put in the wrap file drop zone dot store and here sorry here I'm gonna copy that and then the method should be post and we just put the encrypt type for the multipath and slash form data and the ID is identified when we instance in the JavaScript for the drop zone JS. And then the class name for the drop zone style sheet, which come with the CDN there. In form, we just put the CSRF for the security, which is come by default with the Laravel application. And now we're going to write a few lines of the JS to instain the drop zone JS here. We just uh, put the ID of the form element and then the object to configure drop zone JS, like to display the thumbnail when we upload to the form and then the accepted file types to upload. So here I just put all the extended image. Okay, so let's start the Laravel server to see what we have implemented. Let's open the browser. And then we're going to drag the files in this section. Oops. Oh, something wrong here. Okay, I found out that was not closing script text properly here. So let's refresh this page again. Now we can see this text shown here. That will be working fine. Now let's find the file and drag drop here. Okay. It's working. So let's try the multiple files to upload. Drag and drop here. Okay, that's smooth. It's shown up the detailed information and the size, the name and the thumbnail as well. Okay, so let's check in the directory project to see the actual files upload which is in the public slash image. Here we can see there. The file is the rename to the new one. And now let's try it one more time to see it so that you can see the new file will appear on the right folder here. Okay, I'm trying to upload another file types which is not acceptable. Now let's drag the image file and you can see here there's a new file appear magically, right? And now I'm going to show you more detail how we capture the file from the form with this code. And with this attribute file, if we're going to check in the black file, we don't have the input file type XTML element. But if I go to the browser and inspect the element, you will see that input file type is generated because of the CDN that we insert in the header. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something with this video. Don't forget to check out the article about this tutorial or another more tutorials. Please go to CampbellTutorial.com. I will place in the description below. And now, see you in the next video.